We are doing another YouTube. We need, we'll make the viewers decide. What should we call this? We respond to, Craig and Chris respond to YouTube and Google Plus commenters show. That is way too large. I know. It's really hard to come up with cool names. So the audience is going to have to decide. <laughs> okay. Because I'm just exhausted. Or help. No. They're going to have to pick. Okay. I don't like relinquishing control. I know, but it'll have to go through our filter. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right, everyone. We had so much fun in the last video. Reading and discussing Dude, your don't comments. put so much fun in reading in the same sentence. You'll confuse the audience about the kind of people we are. Okay, we don't have any fun reading. <laughs> Unless it's your comments. That's right. Out loud. No, he doesn't have to read them, okay? No. I, say, I vocalize the comments. I don't read them. But I do let's possess some, the ability. Let's make something so very you know. clear, okay? He's like, we don't make them read. <laughs> it's tough for them. No, I can read. I Does everything I say sound condescending? No. Okay, just no, half of it. No, I'm just saying, I mean, I, I just don't want them to get the wrong idea. I do possess the ability to read. <laughs> I believe you. I'm not bragging. I be <laughs> I believe you, Chris. I believe you. Okay, we left off with some wonderful discussion about okay. Kickstarters and PlayStation Three from Aiden from no from Adidas no. Okay, yes. uh, but we're gonna go into Aiden Master said glad you switched his clothing. He started to remind me of Voldo from Soul Calibur with the cross dressing gear. And of course, he <laughs> kudos used... to the Voldo reference. I mean, come on, that's awesome. Exactly. <laughs> I don't, these we, are my kind of folks. We got the best audience ever. Um, uh, he's, of course, referring to our Let's Play of Dead Rising. Uh, he's referring to Nick. Nick. Uh, not any of us. Not any of us. But Voldo. I forgot about Voldo. The claws and the really funny... He, he, he. he made all yeah. kinds of girly noises when he hit. Yeah. So, anyway. I like how the zombies cling to the cars in that game. I normally only use ammo if, in any zombie game if I have to. Ammo seems abundant in that game. I think he's talking about you there. Like, I'm just getting, like, a shot in my head of you running down the street going, bang, 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 bang. That's what I do. You don't even aim it. There's you no point. Shoot. I blind fire in that game. Admit it. If you have to stop to aim in that game, you're going to get eaten. It, it does You must difficult. keep moving in Dead Rising 3. Don't stop moving. And that's why I love the blind fire, because I can go, <laughs> low down aim, half a freaking Aiming is definitely row. best from a afar. car or something. Yeah, afar. Yeah. Afar. I agree with that. Okay. But clearly he's talking to you. Alicia McRae says, who wants to chat with me? I'm bored. My feed isn't that great. I don't know what that means, Craig. I think she's bored. And her feed isn't that great. I have the cure for boredom. Watch the Craig and Chris show. <laughs> Monday through Friday. Go back and watch the archives. We have we have 60 plus videos now. And if... 60! If you're in a playful mood, join us every weekend... <laughs> For our, for our Craig and Chris play video. That's what we call a segue, ladies and gentlemen. And, and that's how the professionals do it. If you're feeling in a mood for gaining knowledge, please join Craig weeknights for his tech classes. You're talking to them like you're, uh, what's his name from... Um... Join us. Come on, children. Come on. Join us, children. Join us. Join us, children. And Mr. Rogers. Yeah. It's it's Mr. Chris's cute. Mrs. Mr. Chris's neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, dude. EA ruins games comments. We, we didn't even touch on these. This is going to be awesome. Would you say that was a hot button issue? I would say so, Chris. Hmm. hmm. Go figure. Ryan Toxopias Recently says... Recently in a YouTube video, we, we uh, you know, were a little unfair to EA and their sterling reputation. We were unfair? No, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. I was going to say, what? I wouldn't say we were unfair. We were kind of nice. We were kind of nice. So uh, Ryan Toxopias says, um, I hate EA so much. See what I mean? We were nice. So much. I could feel the emotion yeah. in that one. Karen MW says, hmm, they see a void, fill it, and make money doing it. Yeah, real bad. Actually, yeah, I kind of wanted to talk about that one. So do drug dealers. <laughs> That was not what I was going to say. <laughs> Our problem is not with that they make money. Our problem is that they release stuff that isn't finished. Yeah. It's broken and otherwise crap. Correct. Now, if, if you want to pay for it, no one's saying don't. We're just saying that 
at some point it'd be nice if the game developer actually released one that functioned well it's fine that they make that's cool they can they make money doing it that's that's great but it's they're not, gonna have to live with the reputation they create as well yeah and people still buy their games it's not like our little video is gonna make people go you know what i'm anyone who's watching it hates ea anyway that's right we still buy their games that's right but just because making money doesn't equal good company or good product or good product <laughs> You can make money, like I said, dealing drugs, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're justified in doing it. And a majority of their games are probably pretty good. It's it's the server setup and the infrastructure that sucks, which falls under the domain of EA Blows. We've already given this person more credit than they deserve, Karen MW. I'm, I just want... I, that was building up, and it was too much. I kind of like it, though. We got to get serious for a moment we there. Got to, we got to get serious. Got to go Van Damme. A little bit. Van Damme. Betty Page, ooh, I don't, even, don't even get me started on those money-sucking turds. It's no wonder why they got the Golden Poo Award two years running. Actually, that's the first time I learned there was a Golden Poo Award. Is that a real award, or is she I, talking about she the worst company in America? She capitalized Golden Poo, so I'm assuming it's a real thing. Let's look that up. I'm Googling that. Golden Poo Award. Either way, they did win the like worst company in America award or something. <laughs> Does that count it as winning? Or, yes. I mean, really? Yep. There is actually a Golden Poo Awards. And for real? Yeah. It looks the like Golden Poo Awards. Great. There goes our content ID match. This video officially cannot be monetized. Thank you, Internet. Is and thank you, website that decides to play music in the background when we go to it. It's a nice flashback to 1990. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Steve Carnut says, EA may be, be, may be bad. Won't deny that, but trust me, Rockstar are right behind them. They pretty much never have really given a crap about the consumer. They're making good original content. They do what they want, when they want, on top of their terrible communicators like EA. Just saying. I've never had a problem you, with Rockstar. You want to take this one? I've never had a problem with them, really. Uh, you want to talk about original content with Rockstar? Should we talk about original content with Rockstar? Like, what do you mean? Like, like all of it? Contact? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've never never had a problem. Yeah, with like Red Dead, original content. Um, Max Payne 3, technically not original, but they maintain the original class of it. Uh, what else? They Grand Theft Auto. Okay, no, what he, what, what he's saying is... is um, they don't really give a crap about the consumer other than that they make original content. Um, like, we have no reason to like them other than the fact that they make awesome games. Right. It's true. They aren't bad, they aren't bad communicators. I haven't had a problem with them. Uh, I thought they handled the communication on the online stuff pretty well. Me too. Um, I agree they, with that. Me, uh, well, I, I, there, I, there was a moment there. There was a, probably about a week span there where it was frustrating as hell. And they were, but they were still trying to keep people up to date. I yeah. mean, if you went to their website and stuff and things like that, they were communicating. Uh, they were tweeting it. Okay, when they finally did start talking about it, they didn't treat us like dirt. Well, I, I think what it's a matter of is, is getting what I think I'm paying for. And I, with their stuff, I get, I'm satisfied. I get yeah, every game, every game I've bought so. from them has been... In my opinion, stellar. EA games tend to not function, and you don't get to play what you paid for. Let me just put it this way: if they came so. out, if they, if if Rockstar came out with Red Dead Redemption Two, it, two weeks from now, and they said because this game took us three, four years to develop, we're gonna have to charge one hundred and twenty dollars for it, I would probably still buy it. Yeah, I hate to say it, but the, the quality of the game that comes out of there. Is worth the money. It, it would be worth the money. Because Grand Theft Auto, in, in my opinion, compared to all the other $60 games out there, is worth way more than $60. Yeah. Because there's so much to that game. And right. almost every game I've played that they've made has despite, been that way. As we said, despite all the problems they had with the online, the single-player game worked, which is worth the 60 bucks. period. I mean, that's what they sold four for. There was, the multiplayer there sucked. Or wasn't as good. Um, so, to me... I had the main game, which is what I really paid for. Right. But a lot of people bought the where, internet. Yeah. With yeah. EA, if their servers have a problem, I can't play single player. So, I mean, that, that was kind of where we're coming from. Yeah, it's frustrating, too. I don't know. Here we go. Here Valve, we go. creator of Steam, best company ever. Which That's I happen opinion. to agree with. Matt Borner says, it would be awesome if Valve made Left 4 Dead 3. Yes, it would. <laughs> I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will, too. I can't um, wait. That would be awesome. Michael Chase, who's a huge uh, supporter of the show, by the way, says, LOL, great show, Craig Chamberlain. But not you. I noticed that. That happens a lot. 
Michael Chase. I think it's because it's your... Throw him a freaking bone, man. I think it's because it's on your uh, Google Plus profile. Whatever helps you sleep at night. It does. Jacob Williams, have you read Valve's new employee handbook? It's the greatest. We need to do that. We do need to. We should do that live. (laughs) Or during a video. We might discuss it. Um, Jacob Williams said, an economist works at Valve and said the places like Valve work the... Place like Valve wouldn't work in 99% of businesses because, one, everyone who works there is highly intelligent and skilled at their trade. Two, everyone who works there has admirably high work ethic and a history of one, so don't require being monitored. Three, the product industry they're in is actually fun and exciting to be in. Most businesses aren't. Four, Valve makes money. All those prior things can be true, and you can still lack monetization methods. I agree on all five poor points. That's because we're doing it. What? because we are the first three yeah that's right i would love to work there i would be self-motivated show did you just say you're highly intelligent and a skilled at your trade i would think that would be obvious no what i was yeah that's that's us that's our show we are highly intelligent skilled at our trade we have excellent work ethics abnormally high work ethics not excellent and abnormally high and we have a history of we work in an exciting industry and we make no money (laughs) yeah We make no money. That's so, true, yes. Jacob. Thank that's you. actually true. That's that's pretty much no, the his, definition. His, his comments are usually very good. Yeah, they are. Jacob Williams. I mean, that's, that's a well thought out. Comment. Met met Jacob through uh through a uh, fellow collaborator actually, and uh, awesome sharp guy. Um, Glad to have you. Jason R says, team. Uh, really awesome. He does his own videos too. Jacob does. By the way, if you guys are interested in Ruby coding, uh, Ruby on Rails, and uh, he also does like uh, business training. On his YouTube channel. Yeah. A little cool. shout out to Jacob. Uh, Nuna B says, love you guys. Keep sending me stuff. People love it. Right here, Nuna. Solid. Jason R says, really awesome. Got so many awesome fans. Yes. Chris Keyworth says, that I would believe, Jacob. <laughs> I'm not going to read your comment out loud, even okay. though it's a good comment. Okay, let's keep going. Is there anything else we have to is. read? Yes. Do you want me to read it? No. Okay, one more thing. The Bluetooth FM transmitter. This was this was it. This was the the first video we did this week. And I was confused. Last week. That's what I meant. That's what he meant. Actually, it's two weeks ago by the time they watch this. But it's still last week. Whoa. No, but it's still last week. No, you're, you're right. right. You're right. What? Time is crazy, man. It is. It's insane. It's crazy. Um, everybody seemed to like it. Tommy Ross says, great bid. Must be like British or something. Been looking for something just like that. We'll rub my coins together soon and st- seal the deal. And it's just, I love the way he worded this, actually. I read that. I'm like, it's fun. That's a cool way to say this. I, I, I wish I talked like that. <laughs> no. Somebody plus one bit. Tommy Ross, teach me to talk like that. Status quo must go says, sound great. I've been looking for something like this. Glad for the heads up on it. Status quo must go. Okay. I can I can see that name being kind of interesting. Now, I don't get this one. Pat Darnell says, you guys are a blast. Mutt and Jeff. Do you get that reference? No. Or do they just not know our names? Could be either. So, Mila Smith says, whoa, love it. Michael Kronowski maybe, says, maybe cool Maybe I need gadget. to make the, the logo bigger. Boom. Bigger. Bigger is better. Have you ever seen Sunny with a, wait, wait, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? Uh, No. Dude. But I know of it. You know who was in it? No. Cartoon characters? Um, <clears throat> have you seen a show called, uh, what's it called? Um, Burn Notice? Yes. You know the guy it's who's, an awesome show. who's the Navy SEAL associate of the main lead character, Michael Weston? Uh, yes. Bruce Campbell? Yes. He's, he's awesome. He's the mayor in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Okay. He's awesome in it. It's Bruce freaking Campbell. He's awesome. That's all I'm saying. It See it. He followed you. See it, chat. Yeah, it would. Yeah. I got Hulk Hogan to follow me. That's what I'm saying. Hulk! That's right, brother. Hulk's awesome. That's right, brother. We just need Bruce Campbell. We're yeah, set for like, life. Well, we need, to, we, need, we need to have the Hulk on our show. Could you imagine us interviewing the Hulk? I don't even know what I would say. I do. What? <laughs> do you still have that suburban commando armor? Because it was awesome. <laughs> I'd be like, you're awesome, man. 
<laughs> You're awesome. That'd be like me the whole video. Was it hard balancing your wrestling and a film career? You're so awesome. It's it's it was hard to to be a child in the eighties and not have Hulk around. I had the little Hulk plush thing that you wrestled with, and the Macho Man Randy Savage. They used to fight with each other. Those guys were a little bit like like Michael Jordan or something. You didn't need to know anything about what they were doing to know who they were. That's right. You didn't have to be a basketball fan to know Michael Jordan was awesome. Yeah, Michael Jordan was awesome. Like you know, so I mean that's what it was like. Because you might not like wrestling, but damn it, you had that Hulk Hogan plushie. It was that freaking mustache, which he still has, by the way. It's, it's gotten still better looking with, good. It's gotten better with age. Really. It has aged like a fine wine. Well, you know I'm going to ping him when I mention him in this comment, right? I hope it. he replies. Oh, freaking Kogan! You're the man. It's truth. Truth. I want to close it with that. I want to close it with that. And with make sure you guys all subscribe to our, our videos. The Beautiful Disaster. That is the Craig and Chris Show. 13 new uploads a week. Three, sh three shows, one channel. Craig and Chris Show. There is something for everyone here. I'm hoping. At least at some point, there's got to be 13 uploads a week. There's something for everyone <laughs> if you're like us. Which is probably not everyone. <laughs> probably not. So it's like saying there's something for everybody, <laughs> but not. There's like something for everyone, but not. If you fit into certain categories. <laughs> yeah. There's something from everyone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We can go on and on with that. You could just try it and see if you like it. <sighs> First hit's free.